गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फैक्टर एंड डिफरेंट ग्राफ ऑफ द कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फैक्टर वर्सेज द पी लुक वी नो दैट आइडियल गैस इक्वेशन फॉलो द पी वी इज इक्वल टू एन आर टी अंडर द कंडीशन ऑफ द वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर एंड लो प्रेशर बट एज द टेम्परेचर डिक्रीजेस और प्रेशर इंक्रीजेस एनी गैस कैन नॉट फॉलो द कंडीशन ऑफ द आइडियल गैस दैट इज द पी वी इज इक्वल टू एन आर टी देन एक्सटेंट ऑफ द डेविएशन फ्रॉम द आइडियल गैस बिहेवियर कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फैक्टर और द कंप्रेशन फैक्टर कंप्रेशन फैक्टर और कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फैक्टर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द कैपिटल जेड हाउ इट इज डिफाइंड it is the ratio of the molar mass of the real gas to the ratio of the molar mass of the ideal gas look vm is the representation of the molar mass of the real gas and ideal gas can be calculated by the equation pv is equal to nrt volume become the nrt by p so i put this value of the vi nrt by p here it become the pvm divided by nrt if we have constant number of moles and the temperature then z directly proportional to the pvm now suppose in the case one i have taken two identical container in the container number one i have a i have an ideal gas and in the container number two i have a real gas in both the container the number of moles is the one temperature is maintained at the 0 degree centigrade and pressure over the piston is always one atmosphere here the condition is the stp one atmosphere pressure and 0 degree centigrade temperature under such condition one mole of any ideal gas always occupy the volume 22.4 liter suppose why chance the real gas also occupy the volume 22.4 then what is the ratio of the z the ratio of the z become the 22.4 divided by 22.4 the value of the z become the 1 means under such condition this given real gas is similar to the ideal gas or we can say that real gas following the ideal gas behavior it is neither compressible nor incompressible as compared to the ideal gas in this one no force of attraction is present and no force of repulsion is present suppose now in the second case i have taken any gas in which the force of attraction is present like ns3 CO2 or anyone else. Okay, under such condition, if we have the force of attraction present among the particle, they always have the tendency to attract with the each other. So what happens if they have the tendency to attract with the each other? The gap between them always decreases. They always occupy less volume as compared to the ideal gas. If volume of the ideal gas is 22.4. then volume of the real gas under such condition is always less than the volume of the ideal gas for example volume of the real gas is the 20 and volume of the ideal gas is the 22.4 then value of the z is always less than 1 and if value of the z is always less than 1 this is the non ideal gas or we can say it is the real gas under such condition what we have we have the force of attraction present among the particle and this gas is more compressible as compared to the ideal gas now in the case 3 i have taken a gas in which the force of repulsion is present as we know hydrogen and helium are the gases in which the force of repulsion is present at the given normal temperature and pressure condition 
so hydrogen and helium are the gases in which the force of repulsion is present and if they have the force of repulsion amongst the particle they always have the tendency to repel each other under such condition they always occupy the more volume as compared to the ideal gas because particles are repelling each other so suppose a volume of the ideal gas 22.4 under such condition, the volume of the real gas has to be more than the 22.4. I took the example of the 25. Under such condition, the value of the Z become more than 1. And if the value of Z is 1, it is the ideal gas. If value of Z is not equal to 1, it is the real gas. Under such condition, force of repulsion dominating. And this gas is more incompressible as compared to the ideal gas means if the value of z1 ideal gas no force of attraction no force of repulsion neither compressible nor incompressible if value of z less than 1 you have the real gas force of attraction dominating and gas is given gas is the compressible in nature if value of z is less than 1 under such condition the value of z is less than 1 in the such condition value of z is more than 1 if value of z is more than 1 then we have the real gas in which force of repulsion is dominating and this gas is incompressible as com as compared to the ideal gas now we have this graph of the z versus p this graph is also called andrews isotherm why because we have plotted this graph at the constant temperature at this point the pressure is approximately equal to 0 if pressure is approximately is equal to 0 then volume is very very high it is approximately infinite means particle of a is far away than the particle of the b under such condition what happens nucleus of the a attract the electron of the b and nucleus of b attract the electron of a and if they have the force of attraction they always have the tendency to come closer to the each other under such condition if we are increasing the pressure then what happens gas has a tendency to come closer to each other they have the force of attraction present and whenever we have the force of attraction present value of the z always less than one so as we are increasing the pressure the value of the z become less than one from the point a to b force of attraction increases as we increase the pressure at the point B, force of attraction increases, increases, increases. At the point B, force of attraction become the maximum. Force of attraction become the maximum. If after the point B, if we further compress the molecule, then what happens? Now, force of repulsion is started. Nucleus of A repel the nucleus of B and electron of A repel the electron of B then force of attraction increases and this force of attraction slowly slowly counterbalance the force of the force of repulsion increases and this force of repulsion slowly slowly counterbalance the force of attraction and now the value of Z is increases means under from B to C force of repulsion increases but still you have the force of attraction more than the force of repulsion at the point we have a special condition at this point the force of attraction become exactly equal to the force of repulsion and the value of the z become the one and after the c to d the force of repulsion dominate the force of attraction at the point a the value of z is 1 the gas we have like the ideal gas no force of attraction no force of repulsion a to b force of attraction increases value of z is less than 1 gas is the real gas and more compressible at the point b maximum force of attraction the value of z minimum and at this point we have the 
मैक्सिमम कंप्रेसिबिलिटी ऑफ द गैस बी टू सी फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन इंक्रीजेस बट स्टिल द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन डोमिनेट द फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन सो वैल्यू ऑफ जेड लेस देन वन स्टिल वी हैव द रियल गैस एंड इट इज मोर कंप्रेसिबल देन द आइडियल गैस एट द पॉइंट सी फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिकम्स फोर्स ऑफ बिकम्स इक्वल टू द फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन द वैल्यू ऑफ द जेड इज वन बट स्टिल यू नीड टू नो एट दिस पॉइंट वैल्यू ऑफ द जेड बिकम वन बट स्टिल वी हैव द रियल गैस यू शुड कीप दिस थिंग इन द माइंड दैट एट द पॉइंट सी द वैल्यू ऑफ द जेड इज वन बट स्टिल इट इज नॉट कंसिडर एज द आइडियल गैस बिकॉज एज पर द काइनेटिक गैस थ्योरी काइनेटिक थ्योरी ऑफ द गैस द आइडियल गैस नाइदर हैव द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन नाइदर हैव द फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन अमंग द पार्टिकल बट एट द पॉइंट सी यू हैव फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन ऑल्सो यू ऑल्सो हैव फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन सो बाई चांस द वैल्यू ऑफ द जेड बिकम द वन बट इट कैन नॉट बी कंसिडर द आइडियल गैस बिकॉज आइडियल गैस नाइदर हैव द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन नॉर फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन बट एट द पॉइंट सी बोथ आर प्रेजेंट इन द इक्वल मैग्नीट्यूड गैस नाइदर कंप्रेसिबल नॉर इनकम्प्रेसिबल सी टू डी दिस टाइम फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन डोमिनेट द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इट इज द रियल गैस एंड वी कैन से इट इज मोर इनकम्प्रेसिबल देन द आइडियल गैस नो This graph is stand for the one gas. Suppose if we have the three gases like NS three, CH four, and helium, you have to find out that which gas has the more force of attraction amongst the particle. The gas which has the more force of attraction that is more compressible. More is the compressibility of the gas. Least is the value of the Z. Now you check for the third option. For the third, the value of Z is the least. Means this is the gas in which the force of attraction is maximum. Second gas is also a, a kind of gas in which you have the force of attraction. So this should be the gas in which we have force of attraction. But force of attraction is less than the gas number third. Gas first is the gas in which you only have the force of repulsion. so as i told you hydrogen and helium are the gases in which we have the force of repulsion present then first gas is the helium in the ns3 you have the hydrogen bonding and hydrogen bonding is stronger than the dipole dipole interaction or dipole induced dipole interaction or london dispersion forces so what we have we have the third gas is the ns3 and second gas is the ch4 suppose if we have the single gas suppose this graph is drawn for the nitrogen gases and we are increasing the temperature now look you know as the temperature increases force of attraction decreases force of repulsion increases if force of repulsion decreases if force of repulsion decreases the value of the z increases so look the temperature first is the temperature at which we have the minimum value of the z minimum value of the z is the maximum force of attraction and maximum force of attraction we have at the minimum temperature so suppose here we have the temperature t1 here we have the temperature t2 here we have the temperature t3 and this is the temperature this is the temperature t4 then as i told you less is the force of attraction higher is the value of the z and higher is the force of attraction less is the value of the z then minimum value of the z is present at the t1 then t1 has to be the minimum temperature then t2 then t3 then t4 at the t4 value of the z is very high then gas must have the force of repulsion and force of repulsion is only possible when you have the very high temperature now you check the this t3 this 
T3 has something special. At this temperature T3, the value of the Z is approximately equal to 1, neither it is very less, neither it is very high, means at this T3 temperature, gas all approximately shows the ideal gas behavior. Gas approximately follow the Boyle's law. I told you Z is directly proportional to PVM and you see the value of the PV, this is the graph of the PV versus P and this is the graph of the Boyle's law. And at the T3, gas is also following the approximately same graph. So T3 at which the gas approximately follow the ideal gas behavior is called the Boyle's temperature. And value of the Boyle's temperature is the A upon Rb, where A and B are the wonder wall gas constant. Okay. I hope you now you have everything clear about this topic. Thank you.